Dear friends, welcome to the Creative Lab, Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening as we join together across distance, across continents and oceans coming together in our circle. This Creative Lab is one of the initiatives that was suggested by, in response to the call of the 2025 initiative to offer groups specialized work on topics that inspire your group. Today, the Hekal group and Klan Shale group present the Awakening the Souls of Our Nations initiative and creative lab. So let's start this new journey together. As we prepare for the alignment to come together in recognition of our togetherness in our circle, we invite each of us to say our name and where we're coming from, connecting in our circle. So we will start with our uh, organizing groups uh, and I will start it just to give a pattern, a center pattern. Uh, my name is Alexander and I connect from United States, New York. And uh, Katya Kaufman, also New York, US. And Uta, bye from Germany. And Greta Hartz from uh, Denmark, Abeltoft. I'm Fatenenbaum from Jerusalem. Helen Kerem from Jerusalem. And Annette Hill from Germany. And um, Daniela, I'm calling from Belgium. Hello, Alexandra from West London. Welcome, Alex, Alexandra. Beata Nowakowska, South Africa. Welcome, Beata. Beatrice. Hello, uh, I am calling from Lima, Peru. Welcome, Beatrice. Birgit? Hello, Birgit and Helena Rasmussen, Denmark. Welcome, Birgit. Cheryl? Cheryl Binson, Ames, Iowa, USA. Welcome, Cheryl. Christina? Please unmute yourself. Welcome, Christina. Yes, yeah, sorry. Christina from Greece and Uta Griscott. Welcome, Christina and Uta. Griscott. <laughs> Claire? No, it's Claire in Dunedin, New Zealand. Welcome, Claire. Deisha. Deisha Moss from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. Welcome, Deisha. Daniel.
Welcome, Daniel. Darcy? Darcy from Washington, D.C. area, USA. Welcome, Darcy. Denise and Svetlana? Ah, включи the microphone. Uh -huh. uh, Denise and Svetlana from Russia. Thank you. Welcome, Denise and Svetlana. Welcome. Dot. Dot Maver. Kathy Newburn. Tara Stewart. In Walpole, mm. New Hampshire, USA. Welcome, Dot. Welcome, Tara. Welcome, Kathy. Elisabetta. Elisabetta from Città della Pieve, Italy. Welcome, Elisabetta. Francis. Please unmute yourself. Francis Gadet, Victoria, Canada. Welcome, Francis. Heike. Heike Bobert from Germany. Welcome, Heike. Hilary, please unmute yourself. Welcome, Hilary. Jeanette. Please unmute yourself. Yes, we can hear you. No, we can't hear you, but your microphone on. So welcome, Jeanette. Hello. Hello, Jeanette. Welcome. I'm sorry. I'm from Oregon in the United States. Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. John? Hello, everyone. This is Joe, currently off the Puget Sound area in Northwest Washington in the USA. Welcome, Joe. Jocelyn. Please unmute yourself. Welcome, Jocelyn. Joe. Joe from Mecklenburg, Four Pommern in Germany. Welcome, Joe. Joke? Hello, Joke from Belgium. Welcome, Joke. Karen? Karen Gritska from Portland, Oregon. Welcome, Karen. Kiki. Kiki from the United States. Welcome, Kiki. Kit. Please unmute yourself. Hello, this is Kit from Washington, D.C., USA, but I didn't hear you call my name. But you heard me telepathically, probably. Welcome, Kit. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Leslie. Hi, everyone. Leslie from Arizona, USA. Welcome, Leslie. Lynn. Lynn is from Tucson, Arizona. We can't hear you, but we know you're there. Welcome, Lynn. 
Margot. Margot Rush from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Welcome, Margot. Welcome. Marianne Bart. Please Hello, Maria. Hello, it's uh, Maria. Greetings, everyone. Bart from New York, upstate. Welcome, Marianne Bart. Maria Cristina Donadio. Please unmute yourself. Maria Cristina Donadieu from the Tucson, Arizona desert, USA. Hello, everyone. And you skipped Maria Cristina Amaral. No, I didn't. Ah. <laughs> Welcome, Kina. And <laughs> Maria Cristina Amaral. Please unmute yourself. Maria Cristina Moral from Brazil. Welcome, Maria Cristina. Martha. Hi, everyone. Martha from Weehawken, New Jersey, USA. Welcome, welcome, Martha. Marja. I apologize if I pronounce your name not right. Yes, Marcia. Marcia is the right pronunciation. Hi everyone, I'm, this is Marzia from Tarquinia, Italy. Welcome Marzia. Welcome. Olga. Olga, please unmute yourself. Good evening from Athens, Greece. This is Olga de Lidzianis. Thank you. Welcome Olga. Orit. Hello, I'm from Catalonia. Welcome, Orit. Pat. Hello, it's Pat Kirshner from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome. Okay, how do I mute myself now? Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, Fritz, please unmute yourself. Hello, uh, Rebecca Frith, Australia. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you. Rebecca Hood. Hello, it's Rebecca Hood, also from Australia. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Regina. Please unmute yourself. Hello, I'm Regina from New York. Welcome, Regina. Ria. You're unmuted, Ria. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Richard. Welcome, Richard. Risa. Risa sent a message saying that she cannot speak, but she's with everyone. Thank you, Risa. Welcome. Sanjay. Hello. Sanjay Sharma from near Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, in India. Hello, everyone. Thank Hello, Sanji. Thank you for joining in this late hour. My pleasure and best wishes to all of you in all your efforts. Thank you. Schnoring, Bernard. Sorry, Bernard. Hello, Bernard Schnoring from uh, France. Welcome, Bernard. Shirley. Good morning. This is Shirley Bassiano from Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. Welcome, Shirley. Silvana. 
Greetings, everyone. It's Silvana from Melbourne, Australia. Good morning, Silvana, and welcome, Stefano. Yes, I'm Stefano from Italy, Castel di Fiori. Welcome, brother. Thank you. Sibyl. Hello, I'm Sibyl from Lima, Peru. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Sibyl. Thomas. Thomas also sent a message that his microphone is not working, but greeting everyone. Greetings to you back. Welcome, Thomas. Tracy. Hello, Tracy from Novi, Michigan, United States. Welcome, Tracy. Wendy. Wendy from Sydney, Australia. Good morning, Wendy. Welcome. Zipora. 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 I apologize. Please unmute yourself. Welcome, Zipora. Zipora from Israel. And we welcome all those who join us after we started our name in circle. And that we come now in full circle or back over to you, Uta. Okay. Please lead us in alignment. Yes. Let us do an alignment. Starting with a deep breath. Just coming into this present moment. Into our sacred heart space. and connecting with each other, creating a group heart. Knowing ourselves being part of the wider group of spiritual servers. Opening ourselves to our elders. Our higher co-workers on the subtle planes. May this new endeavor together be inspired by them and serve the highest good of all on this planet. Okay. Welcome, everyone. I'm speaking on behalf of my colleagues from the group in Jerusalem and the group in Germany. We are co-focalizing this forum. My name is Uta. I am originally from Germany, have lived most of my life in Jerusalem and am now back living in Germany. So we have this great pleasure and privilege to open this new endeavor, this creative lab 
in cooperation with the 2025 initiative. Mm. We all feel the need to help our nations to open to the call of their souls and to fulfill their role at this crucial moment on our earth and to take on a responsibility in our national life. So we want here to give this impulse space where we can explore together and especially to help more small group units to form in their various countries. Um, we envision this work as a lab, a creative lab, where we can share our experiences and our experiments and learn from each other, perhaps develop work methods together. We see it as a spiritual research project and putting emphasis on meditative inquiry. So in this first webinar, we want to first say a little bit about ourselves, and our own work, both in Jerusalem and in Germany, and then do a meditation. And after that, we will have time to get to know each other, to hear each other's note, and uh, then see how it will develop. So now I'm giving over to my coworker, Helen, from Jerusalem. She will tell us a bit about our Jerusalem work. Hi, I am Helen from Jerusalem, and I speak for the Hechal group. We are working as a group for over 20 years in different formats. For a number of years, we led a center for universal spirituality and a school for meditation for different populations in Jerusalem. Then our work shifted more to the subjective level. Uh, the last seven years, we've been holding regular weekly online meditations, the Jerusalem meditation, in magnetic service for the area of Israel and Palestine and the Middle East. At the center of our work stands the group. The group as a laboratory with its main tool of meditative inquiry. We have developed certain methodologies for being an effective service unit some of it mentored by the Community of Living Ethics in Italy, um, namely the work with the seven rays in group formation. Uh, three of us, Ifrat, Uta and I, have for many years worked with the Jewish people as a collective and worked for the fostering of right relations between the Jews and the rest of humanity. In addition to uh, giving workshops and uh, lectures in Israel and abroad, we were part of a project called the Methuselah Project, the Metushelah Project, a group of Jewish and non-Jewish esoteric students who met weekly over a period of seven years to study the Tibetans' view of the Jewish people. We um, practiced uh, the heart transference meditation given by him, by the Tibetan, to help transmute the energy within the planetary solar plexus of which the Jewish people are the expression at this time, and raise the solar plexus to the heart. 
Then about 10 years ago, we became aware of Asajoli's work with the Jewish people, which was assigned to Asajoli by the Tibetan. We researched uh, his many notes on the topic and adopted also the special meditation he used to approach what he called the J Ashram, connecting with the Ashramic co-workers whose task it is to work with the Jewish situation. We found in the Asajoli archive in uh, Florence also his notes on the psychosynthesis of nations. In his notes, a nation is addressed as a being, as a living entity with a personality and a soul, just like an individual human being. Sajoli described what would go what uh, would go into consciously working with a collective entity. Um, I will repeat here what we have mentioned in our written invitation, as it may be of re relevance for what we will be doing in our work together in this creative lab. A group of spiritual people when it is integrated and working in harmony, can function as part of the conscious self of their nation. Asajoli called such groups, groups of best citizens. Such groups develop an inclusive awareness of what is going on in their nation. And through increasingly fine-tuned group meditation, they become like a lens through which the national soul can express itself and shine light on national issues and next steps. This is um, a sustained, penetrating, intuitive work with much inner listening and sharing of impressions in a safe and sacred group space. It is a spiritual group laboratory in which a higher order is wrought out and made available to the national consciousness. And I would like to conclude uh, with one more aspect we have found to be essential in our work, and that is uh, spiritual friendship. Soul relationships among group members are also nurtured on the level of personality. We uh, meet more than once weekly online because we're all scattered. And we meet twice a year on the physical, once in Jerusalem and once abroad. Together, we do sustained, concentrated, concentrated, disidentified work. And we also have a very loving and caring human relationship. So very rewarding with much honesty and much joy. This really weaves over the years a solid heart quality and safe group instrument. And now I'm giving over to our German co-workers. Thank you, dear Helen. My name is Annette and I speak for the group Klangschale for the soul of Germany. Klangschale means singing bowl. The ode to joy resounds from time to time in our singing bowl 
when we connect with the German soul. It is written and composed by two German best citizens, Beethoven and Schiller. For us, this piece of music also is like a call to do a work for the soul of Germany and also to support the increasing influx of the fourth ray. Germany has a fourth ray soul. We are still a young group. Three of us started this work last year as a triangle, each of us assuming a ray energy. It seemed important to start out with a lot of feminine energy, to build a chalice to hold and nurture this seed, and to ground it well in the energy of the earth. Currently, we are expanding the group from three to seven. Our purpose statement is we offer ourselves as a singing bowl for the German soul, which holds the soul energy of Germany and connects it with the earth and tones it. Humbly, we seek contact with the Buddhic level and with the higher beings who work with the soul of Germany. And we make our chalice available to absorb the energies, to bring them down to earth and to radiate them as good as we can. In our meditations, we try to perceive and get to know the German entity better and better at all levels. We connect with its qualities, and try to perceive that particular qualities this nation has to give to the world. After the meditation, we exchange our subtle impressions in a safe and refined group atmosphere. To contemplate what the Tibetan wrote about Germany is very helpful for us. We are just starting to work also with the astrology of Germany. We will also look at German art, history and politics. And here we meet also the shadows of the German nation. These are just a few approaches we experiment with. All of them need to be deepened. Certainly it is useful to have different perspectives on the nation in such a national soul group. We noticed that we were all previously disidentified from our nationality. Some of us lived abroad for a long time or currently live abroad and that we have a wider view of the one world. This seems to be a precondition for working with the soul of a nation. Asajoli has pointed this out in his psychosynthesis of nation. And also DK speaks to it in these words about the new world order with which I conclude. 
how can we simply and clearly express the goal of this hoped for new world order? And word briefly the objective which each person and nation should hold before itself. It is surely that every nation, great and small, should pursue its own individual culture and work out its own salvation, as seems best to it. But that each and all should develop the realization that they are organic parts of one corporate whole and that they must contribute to that whole all they have and are. Thank you. Yes, so Julie has also pointed out that um, a nation fulfills its purpose by giving the best it has to the whole. So when we endeavor to contact the soul of a nation, it's a good thing to ask what is it that this nation can has to contribute to the family of nations. And uh, to have a forum where we can speak, so to say, as representatives of nations, of a global group of best citizens, um, we can get more of a feeling of these different contributions that the nations can make. So we have, we are sharing now here our little experience. We are a group of Jews and Germans who focalize this forum. And there's a natural affinity between our two groups. Uh, an experience of uh, um, well-oiled relationships and also much similarity in work methods because we come from, from similar backgrounds spiritually. And for us, uh, it's fascinating also to see the differences when we compare our Jewish work and the German work. Um, the difference is what it means to, to work with the uh, Jewish people that are so ancient and with the German nation on the other hand and of course the fascinating relationship that the two have. And now we are very curious looking forward to widen this exploration through our sharing all of us here. Um, and before we enter the sharing, let us do a meditation together. As we said before, the meditative inquiry, the meditative work is for us very central in all this work with the nations. Um, and let us just, uh, I would like to share a quote an evocative mantra for a group of best citizens, you could say, a quote from Master DK from the book Glamour, <clears throat> can set the tone for our work. They come and stand within the midst of whirling forms, some of beauty rare and some of horror and despair. They stand. They look not here or there, but with their faces turned towards the light, they stand. Thus, through their minds, the pure light streams to dissipate the fogs. 
they come and rest. They cease their outer labors, pausing to do a different work. Within their hearts is rest. They run not here and there, but constitute a point of peace and rest. That which upon the surface veils and hides the real begins to disappear. And from the heart at rest, a beam of dissipating force projects, blends with the shining light, and then the mists of man's creation disappear. They come and they observe. They own the eye of vision. Likewise, they own the right direction of the needed force. They see the glamour of the world and seeing, they note behind it all, the true, the beautiful, the real. Thus, through the eye of Buddhi, comes the power to drive away the veiling, swirling glamours of that glamorous world. They stand, they rest, and they observe. Such are their lives, and such the service that they render to the souls of men. Now, as we are holding this high vibration, let us imagine that we are looking at our planet Earth from outer space. Let us see our Earth with its aura, its physical, emotional, and mental expression. Notice the different continents, each with its specific emanation, specific melody. And on each continent, the different nations, each with their specific note. Let us now allow ourselves to be drawn to the note of our own nation. Sense it as a living entity sounding its note. Let's take a moment to notice its location, its surroundings, any interaction with the surrounding nations. 
just a sense of it. Let us now be drawn further into our nation, resonating with its note. Imagine being drawn to a beautiful building, perhaps on a mountain or other significant beautiful spot in our country. Gently allowing ourselves to be drawn into this building now, into a quiet and spacious room with a very special atmosphere. We notice a group of people seated there, perhaps in a circle or half circle. We can make out their faces with rather refined expressions, each radiating a degree of wisdom and integrity. can see that they love their nation, but also are capable to look with honesty and courage at its shortcomings. They are different in appearance, yet the same wisdom shines through their faces. And their sense of belonging is firmly anchored in the oneness of humanity. Let us take a moment to sense the potential of the breadth of vision and the consecration of the heart present in this group. A relaxed and yet focused silence settles in the room as this group of best citizens close their eyes to align with the soul, with the essence of their nation and reflect on its outer expression. Let us take a few minutes in silence now to just sit with our nation in the presence of these best citizens, opening to the soul of our nation
Let us visualize a blessing from the soul of the nation passing through, through its outer expression. Clarifying the national thought life. Stimulating the heart, the will to love. Inspiring a higher order. Let us visualize this happening in each nation. Let us visualize the new civilization being born through soul awakening. So let it be, and may we do our part. Let us slowly return to our daily focus. Breathing, grounding. Perhaps taking a moment to make some notes. Okay, so let us... Would you like please to share about the next steps, how you see this work unfolding yes. and how people can participate? Yes, um, first of all, we have a date for our next webinar, which is on September 1st, at the same time as this one today. Um, we will be holding in our uh, hearts uh, all the impressions that have been received uh, in this webinar. Mm, we have a few ideas and of course we want to also hear your ideas and weave this together. Um, so, of course, 
there's so much to be said. Also, uh, Kit, what you wanted to share about uh, about the the meditation outline that you have, and uh, surely others also have already done uh, valuable work. Perhaps we can start it uh, by uh, Sasha, if you could post my email address in the chat box, so you could. Uh, write to me for beginning and then we will think how to how to communicate or perhaps sasha do you have a better idea uh yes how i will to... post now now the email to uh, uh your email uta and you also uh, can uh those who is interested in this work of this creative lab you can contact the 2025 initiative uh directly as well and we will forward that to uta and the group mm -hmm. yes okay and other than that we have a a, a little request <laughs> I see that Claire, you had you 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 put this beautiful picture, uh, uh, creative lab picture. We had only the the other one with the with the with the, uh, all the figures around the the um, a beam of light, but we feel that we need a good image for a group of best citizens. If anyone has one or can think of one. Um, would also be lovely to receive any visual impressions. Oh, yes, okay, and any ideas, any questions, um, especially if, uh, if you would like to create a group in your nation, uh, we'll be very interested to hear about it and see what uh, maybe with, with joint forces we can do. Very inspiring. Yes, so that's yeah. what I say I have to say for now. Um, so the email, uh, Uta's email is now in the ch uh, chat window, so you can copy there. I uh, also posted there the link to uh, Uta's book, uh, Awaken the Will to Love, uh, where the chapter on psychosynthesis of nations based on uh, Roberto Sejoli's writings. And um, mm. about this creative lab, uh, I want, uh, I envision that the small groups could start forming in different nations, choosing to work with the soul, invoking the soul So you're cutting out. Slower to allow the sound to go forward. See, Can you hear me well? Now you're, okay. now you're okay, say it again. Yeah, so I invite uh, everyone to consider forming groups in own countries where you could work on your own rhythm, invoking the soul of your nation. And not just invoking, but seeing it being anchored and manifested through people who are in essence the members of the new group of world service through all intelligentsia and that the light of the soul of your nation shining through people in your country and that could become the new fabric that links our countries through manifested notes of the souls of our nations. So we invite you to this journey and to this adventure together 
and we could use the platform of this creative labs as a place we could share and meditate together that's my dream beautiful beautifully said and uh, as uh, Uta, you said that uh, there's beautiful image that we have uh, on uh, we we had on the screen is the painting by David Hockney from the United Kingdom, and uh, thanks to Claire, this image came to the uh, to our screen. It's a very beautiful mm -hmm. image. I think it captures this idea of diversity and of all the nations coming together to manifest the beautiful space of love. Global garden. Global garden. <laughs> yeah. There is a comment by Claire, if you want to read it. Uh, can you read it, please, Daniela? Yes, um, Claire is saying, Uta, I have been working on a series of paintings that seek to connect with the souls of all nations. I will send to you all for today's offerings. Oh, sorry, I will send you some images via email and blessings to you all for today's offerings. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Very much looking forward, Claire. Thank you. Okay, so let us conclude for today with a minute of silence. Gratitude. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Uta, and thanks everyone. And we invite you to join our coming webinars. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., please join the Closing Leo Series Festival ritual that we organize together with Moria Federation and Blue Rose Sisterhood. It will be at 1 p.m. GMT. And at the coming new moon, we invite you to join the open forum where we can meditate and share our impressions on how together we could use the potency of the new moon cycle, anchoring the energies of the higher interlude of the month working on manifesting the plan. And also at the new moon, we will start a creative lab on translation of essences of ageless wisdom. There will be additional information on that. Much love to you. And we, uh, one last thing, we continue our daily meditative vigil at 4 p.m. GMT.
meditation focused on shift of humanity to the soul consciousness. Please join us subjectively or online. At 6 Thank p.m. GMT. 8, 8 p.m. GMT. 8 p.m. GMT. It's in 15 minutes. In 20, no, uh, 18 minutes. It's 6 That's p.m. Okay. GMT, right? Ah, oh, no, 8. Sorry. 8 p.m. GMT, yes. Uh, daily vigil meditation, 8 p.m. GMT. It's in 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. Much love. Thank you. Bye-bye.